All right, good morning. It's about 10 of 9 here, Tuesday, December 20th. Uh, just going through some tickers right now, trying to figure out, see if we can find any good setups. Uh, Edwards is on my list for the today. Not that it'll be a top pick or on the watch list, but um, I guess it's a good example of what I'm trying to do, which is find setups, things that at least have been selling off, but hasn't really accelerated the sell-off during this down, this recent downturn after the rejection from the high. Now, Edwards has been selling off steadily anyways, so, you know, does that really have that much more room to go? And if it's if it's finding some support here, despite the, you know, strong acceleration to the downside, um, that could be an indication that this is really where... Um, we should be looking at add. We can see that there's been a decent bump in volume, trading volume. Um, I mean, it's elevated. It died off a little bit, but it's, you know, it, it's not like it dropped and it just went um, silent. You know, the people are buying it up at these prices after the drop. So I'm good with this. This is good for me. I, I think EW is definitely on my watch list and it'll probably be, I'll keep an eye on it over the, as we go into the new year. Um, CPRX got away from me, but that's fine. I'm cool with having some of just a little taste of CPRX and just letting it run. I'll have to wait for a setup and some sort of you know next downturn and maybe find a pullback spot to pull back. A uh, pullback to add. Um, not that I think it's overvalued right now, but anything that's running in this market is. Uh, you know, I'm looking to sell into it, not add. So, <clears throat> and I want add to the position. I don't want to really sell too much. So I'm just kind of waiting on it. NC has to get over 84 or almost $85, but she's almost got like a triple top set up here. Still above our sell to target. I'm again, I'm let, letting that one sit. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at there. These are all bioreactor names, by the way. Gosh, you're messy. Lionel Messi. So that one's sticking out, but the... This is probably the better fit, right? Where's this one that... Oh, so she broke out. See how we... Broke out, rolled down it, so it's kind of like retesting it several times, popped back up. Question is, did we get another one here, which it looks like we did. Brock dropped below that one. So we probably have to wait either to retest the same downtrend right or find support coming up off the bottom, which we don't have yet. Drop down, retest, rejection. Retest, rejection. Always does this on the ALGN. What a disaster. So we got some time before this really gets going here. Fuck. All right. So I've been poking around. I really can't find a long list of names that I want to put on the watch list this week. We have JP Morgan, which is coming up at the beginning of the year. I'll do a kind of, a, I guess, a preview of all those. But anybody, almost everybody goes. Um, big names, you know, your mid, your small mid caps, the big boys, they all show up there. Put on, I mean, it has a history of disappointment. I'd say over the last five years. I mean, once in a while, a big announcement in terms of like M and A happens. Uh, before, after, 
Um, sometimes, you know, bigger guys want to go in there, talk. They don't really have too much to talk about in terms of their pipeline, but the fact that they just added, you know, another smaller company that's, you know, improving their current pipeline or endeavor or adding something new, new technology, whatever. So. Not much really to be said there. I think the big thing would be probably anybody who has benefited from COVID, how they're going to hold up now, what they're seeing in, in that landscape. For example. Are they close to this one now? Yep, there it is. So LH is on. Okay, so LH is on. I'm taking LH. Gilead turned into a beast, finally breaking. Yeah. WST, MDT is probably still on there. So WST, MDT is probably still going to be on my watch list. I'm not afraid of adding to these guys. Same thing with Quest. Where's Baxter? How's this one? This should be one we should look at. Yeah, so Baxter. Ooh. Yeah, I'll go with Baxter. All right, I'll call. Yeah, let's do Baxter there too. All right, sorry that I'm taking forever. So, figuring out my watch list before we get to our. Update on the spy. So acceleration. I mean, we're kind of poking out here today, and that's probably why we're going to see a little bit of a bounce at some point today. I think we're outside the Keltner, the daily Keltner channel. Um, I mean, we're still red today. I really think we see it come down to this sucker. I mean, at this point, this is so steep, and we have. I mean, we poked out and it seems like they retested the bottom already on it right so what's the low the low would be right around 375 77 376 20 oh yeah so 376 so this might be the out and retest now of course this can't be the only downtrend right i'm sure this sucker is loaded i mean when you have this steep of attack i mean you're gonna have trouble along the way um if we get a i mean a big green day be going into the we could we could see a, a, a solid santa claus rally i mean we're down on this rsi so this could be a point where we decide to yeah man this was just brutal um, sorry. Yeah, I'm just not feeling it. I don't mind being so much in cash right now. I've I thought it was gonna be very aggressive once we got above here. And then now it's like this was it went for it literally in less than twenty four hours I went from it's time to start looking for anybody who's been oversold, fundamentally oversold, technically oversold. Start adding across the board anything that looks decent on a technical setup. Let's let's get in there, add something to the position, and then within hours, I was like, we're in deep, deep trouble. And I still, I haven't even. It's like an appetite, you know. Like I was hungry, and then I saw something that just turned me off. And I have no appetite for really buying up right now. Tech, like some of the speculative names, it's like Labu. All those tickers, XBI, got crushed the last few days. It's 9 o'clock. I'm going to cut this short now. 
like CKPT, I like it's what's it trading at? Like 30, 40 million right now. This they have like they have uh, the ability to not only get their FDA approval in two uh, what two indications this year, but the fact that they are the reasons that the FDA would potentially tell them they can't get approved or not to file their BLA, they have you know actual minutes from a from a meeting saying, "Oh no, you're good." So unless the data is just not compelling enough, and or there's something you know some manufacturing issue, CMC, there's something that the Wall Street knows and we don't. I should like that. It doesn't tell me. I mean, at this point, it's either someone knows inside and it, you know, there's a big issue, and or this is a buying opportunity of a lifetime. I'm staring at something that could be a huge, you know, gainer for us, and I'm just not really looking to add to it right now. I'm not getting gun shy. It's just. I have this feeling like, like literally unless this company is being like rumored to being bought out, I, even if it got approved, I just don't feel like the market has an appetite for anything that's not pulling in a positive EPS and showing growth even even during this, you know, economic downturn, potentially recession soon, even though it's really like a recession now, but anyway. Like AFMD, they had bad data, quote unquote, but it's data we already knew. We knew that was coming. We knew they screwed that up. We knew they were moving on from monotherapies and these things. Like in, in, in many ways, it makes sense. I think they needed to do it for like a proof of concept version to get proof of concept for their what they're doing, that what they do works. But now, you know, I think it was obvious that they needed to, in order for this to be really effective, they needed NK cells, since that's what's really working on. Anyway, going on a small rant. I'm gonna stop myself. Harp, see, like Harp, I want, I, I was like, hey, I'm gonna add it, like 67. Now it's at 62, whatever. You know, it was probably a good buy at like 67, but then I'm thinking to myself, look at this angle. You see this? It got up there and it got slammed down, and now it's just fading. You got a whole bunch of people that probably, this whole sloth of people just took a huge profit. And there's a whole bunch of people probably up here that are like, well, that's close enough. I'll get out. I mean, great trade for me and those who, you know, you guys that got out with me or not got out, but, you know, sold and took profits. Congratulations. Nice work. But you see something like this where people are just getting like spikes up and they're getting out. Not only are the people here get booking profits, including us and the people before, uh, booking booking profits, but then there's a whole bunch of people saying, "Wow, there's a lot of people booking profits. Wow, it's dropping real fast. I'm just gonna wait for this thing to base out before I really step in again." And then there's you have no buyers. Like the, I mean, crazy volume, no volume. I have I have no problem waiting for this to base out for you know a couple more weeks and maybe. Maybe start to see a little bit of a rise. That doesn't mean I wouldn't, you know, look to pull the trigger on a small buy here or there, but I'm definitely not looking to reapply profits anyway anytime soon. What the Well, I guess I'm buying this if it's if we're down below ten. Been waiting for. Oh yeah, your volume's starting to curl up here. <laughs> Forty-one dollars. It's at ten. TSVT definitely on the buy list today. VKTX. Look at this. I mean, it's holding there. I think you're going to have... Well, you know what? Because they're... 
Raises the target to 15. Go, you know, Maxim, you suck. If you guys have been following, like, I, I know I don't talk too much about Viking, but, like, there's a few other programs out there that, for Nash, that I really like. And not because necessarily they'll be first or the best. It's just that w how they approach and their science of what their product and what they're using is really the long term could be the long term uh, answer uh, in a different ways. Like you, it, it, being the first on the market has a huge um, what's the word I'm looking for advantage. But then also having something that can be safe and effective and given to people who, whose bodies are, are not very healthy. Usually if you're dealing with somebody with Nash, their lifestyle, their whole, like, safety is going to be a massive concern. You can't just, like, get rid of the fibrosis and all the terrible things that go along with Nash and shed huge amounts of weight and all that and put stress on all the vital organs basically and everything's going to be all right for your, for everything you need something that puts the brakes on and then you know can at you know an acceptable rate you know reduce liver fat help with the fibrosis and get the body to start healing itself rather than just like purely stripping things out of the liver that's just not how that's going to work but anyway Vikings, one of them. They, ha I feel like they have the dosing. They have the money. Um, that doesn't mean like intercept or magical or like cytodyne or altimune. I believe. I think altimune has a really great concept with theirs. Um, and I think theirs can use be put in really early on. They have a really good potential for that to work basically stopping you know fatty liver um fatty liver disease and obesity if you can stop that early on you'll probably prevent nash uh cytodyne's probably gonna with their uh loronlimab if it were all works out that could be something that you can give to a patient really early on and they can be on it for or really late um viking's probably gonna be the sweet spot magical i you know an intercept there they have great products and I'm definitely our uh, prospects but oh it's galt is another one isn't it yeah so that's another one galt might be a, a better might not necessarily have a better product but right now wh where they're valued they might be a better investment just how viking was a great investment back when it was two dollars and what 50 cents look at that Magical might have, might be, I mean, don't get me wrong. They might, they might have a great uh, setup and could be first in the market and killing us. But two fifty to seven bucks. Thanks, I'll take it. Anyway, long story short, we're gonna keep an eye on VKTX. She comes back down under that buy threshold. Might be worth adding to. How's this one? Oh, BBIO. We got to get back on this sucker. Yep. BBIO. PBYI. Didn't that land right on it? It came within like a cent, right? 160. Oh my gosh. Oh no, did it hit here? No. Yeah, we came really close, didn't we? 160, 160. She's falling off hard again. Why? Getting Kathy Wood. Yeah. There's another one. 
there. I want CRISPR, yeah. That's the thing. I want, I mean, I, I, I would like to see 20, but I have to, I think I might have to concede that around this 35 might be a good spot for CRISPR. Well, let's see. Like, I this is where you know came down. I'm like, oh man, I'm wrong. But now we got another rejection. It'd be nice to see if we can get this down under 450 again. All right, I'm gonna end it here because I'm talking too long. SGMO is another one to keep an eye on. Finally below the buy threshold. KPTI, another one. Still reporting growth. That's ridiculous. Oh, man, see, now I'm convincing myself. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything, but now I'm seeing stuff like, you know, the last week, look where we were. You know, it's like some of these things are lost 20, 50, 20 to 50% in the last week. How's she holding up? They're not letting her fall too far. Oh, what do you know? Look what I found. A QST. Keeping a lid on her. All right, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to put a, a solid list in, up in the uh, chat here. Um, 8.30, we had housing starts. I don't think that did too much, did it? Well, it moved us up, but now we're fading again. All right, we'll go there. We'll leave it there. All right, good luck. Uh, stay healthy. I'll have the watch list up in the chat in a few minutes.